Hello everyone, uh, it's BJ here again. Um, welcome back after two weeks. Um, tomorrow is the third lecture uh, out of the four that I'll be giving. Um, and I'll be talking about the improvements to the first generation and second generation bioethanol. First generation meaning from food crops such as sugarcane or corn, and second generation meaning from woody plant material. Um, and the improvements that I'll be talking about are mostly academic because it hasn't been translated into reality in the industry. Um, I'll be talking about uh, the contamination issue in the first generation plants and how academic community have come up with a, a coup or a, a metabolic engineering strategy uh, to thwart uh, the contamination. And for the second generation, uh, we will stop all the way from um, uh, the pretreatment, you know, is there a better pretreatment process which can deconstruct uh, the plant biomass without producing inhibitors because inhibitors are toxic to the yeast which ferments the sugars later on. Um, so, better pretreatment and um, uh, how about uh, the yeast itself which does the job? Um, you know, you've got to put in the yeast and then that is producing large quantities of yeast uh, is an energy intensive process and I'll be talking about some of the work that I did with Professor Green in, um, uh, on the F floor um, for my work uh, for the last uh, two years um, and, and also the, the enzyme hydrolysis because if you remember uh, the sugars, the C12 meaning cellobios and glucose, they inhibit the hydrolysis uh, and I'll be talking about some of the uh, strategies that uh, my colleagues in Brazil and also in Holland, uh, the Netherlands, have attempted uh, to circumvent the issue of feedback inhibition. And finally, how to consume xylose, because xylose, you know, it's a, it's a troublesome sugar which is present in uh, hemicellulose uh, because of redox cofactor. You always have xylitol, which is a byproduct. Uh, we'll be talking about. Um, how xylose and acetate, which is also one of the inhibitors present uh, uh, after the pretreatment and uh, yeah, pretreatment and the hydrolysis, uh, how xylose and acetate can be co-consumed by yeast. Um, and finally, um, I'll touch upon thermophilic yeasts, which can grow at 48 degrees, and that can save energy costs during distillation. Just to mention, just one of the key factors. Um, yeah, so a whole range of uh, improvements that I'll be talking about with lots of information and I hope um, you come along because the last class there were just 20 people. So see you tomorrow.